Hey guys, we're in Costa Mesa, right on the edge of Newport Beach. I'm here with Sean Lufton Smith at the Electric Bike Company. Man, it's good to see you. It's been years. Good to see you too. Paul. Yeah, so you've got like a new headquarters that we're gonna look at uh, the Model A, the new affordable model during this trip, but I th it's fun to get a tour. And So how long have you been in business, man? Yeah, we started in 2012, roundabout. Wow. And we started with a small little location just down the road. And yeah, now we've moved into a bigger location. So it welcome. It looks a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's congrats. a lot bigger. Business yeah. is good. Let's, let's check yeah. it out here. Wow. So this is like a showroom. Yeah, so this is, we found it really uh, um, helpful for, for our customers to come in and actually see the showroom, see some of our bikes on display. But also it's given us the opportunity to, to offer this to our dealers. We have over 200 dealers nationwide now, and they find that it's kind of a little bit cumbersome to have a whole bunch of different bikes all over the floor. Sure. And we know the retail space now is so expensive. So we found that we started with a design wall where it's really, it's one foot out by eight foot across and eight foot high. So it's really eight square feet of space. And we put this touchscreen display oh, in, the, cool. yeah, in the, in the, uh, in, in our dealers where the customer then can come up and start designing their own bike and then get to choose out of all the different things that we do here at the factory. These are all the colors you can do here? Correct. And uh, you know, they can see the colors that we have and then they can see the different finishes. Some of them have got a little sparkle in them. Some of them are matte finish. Some of them a little pearl finish. And w when they get, when a customer gets to actually f touch and feel yeah. there's a kind of connection with with the customer and the bike and it not it doesn't become EBC's bike now and now it's their bike yeah well my bike I like to have the yellow <laughs> or you know and or the rigid forks or and then they want to kind of see well what is that so we have all the different parts of our bikes huh. and, and in this design wall area wow this so. some of this is really pretty custom man I, I remember visiting part of the reason this is sort of a special tour thing and you know, you, more than a lot of companies, you create this stuff yourself and, and it's so custom and you do it here. It's like a lot of this stuff's happening. I, I mean, I can't wait to see behind the scenes what's going on, but um, what's going on up here too? It's yeah. got like a new helmet, huh? Yeah, so we have a new helmet uh, program and one of the big deals with the helmets we found that it's, it's, there are people that want to match the color of their bike or the frame with the color of their helmet. Of course, yeah. of course, right? Yeah. You gotta match it. <laughs> exactly. So we do have a, a, a helmet customizer. Oh, wow. We, you can see it's cool. It's got its, its CPSC approved, safety approved. It's got a front light, a back light with different functions. It's got a nice trim. It's got, it's got the strapping that you can choose different types. And so if you go to the, the design helmet, you can then also choose, of course, your sizing and everything that I spoke about, but then you can go back to the colors hmm. that we offer, and oh. then you can go ahead and choose the, you know, match your bike. Or... It's the same colors. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, there are really a lot nice. of colors. I don't know if this has changed, Sean, but I remember you can even do other, like you can do custom colors, is That's that right? That's right. right. So Any color, if you've got a nail f f um, color that you like or your car color that you want to match yeah. or anything, just send us either a, a swatch of that part of that color or you can go to Pantone.com or you can go to one of the, the paint uh, suppliers huh. and just send us the code and we'll match it perfectly. It's, I mean, I remember when I first learned about these bikes, I don't know, the, the, this was years ago. We've been doing this for a while and it was just like, yeah, you can pick your bike color. And at first it didn't sink in, but it's not just the bike. I mean, it's like, okay, the basket, the mesh, the battery pack, the rims, the, the racks, the chain. I still really love this. I'm glad you guys are carrying, carrying that forward. And I think this one kind of has, this is a perfect example where you've got the purple basket with the white and the white kind of ties in. Sean, this is, this looks like, is this a special version of white? Yes, uh, so this is Ditspade. It's a, it's a company out of Nevada and they've got a really unique painting oh. of paint where it actually will change color with the light. It's a pearlescent kind That's of thing. That's right. Yeah, cool. And it just cool. brings a little touch of the purple that will match the basket. Huh. Yeah, and it's a really nice case. At first I thought it was just reflecting the basket, but yeah, that's a, that's amazing. And then it's tied into the rack back here and you got the fenders matching the, the chain cover. Uh, so tell me about the rack a little bit more too, because this, your rack is 
I remember pretty strong. It's it's got a lot of strength compared to some of the racks I've looked at. Correct. We partnered up with MIK Mounting is Key. It's a uh, Dutch company, and uh -huh. you know the Dutch, they love their biking. Yeah. And they love their cargo. They love taking their kids along with them. They love to do their, their, their chores and their grocery shopping and maybe even use it for work. So we partnered up with them, and they've got a really unique system where it's a click in, they call it Mounting is Key, where it's a clicking in, clicking out system. So really, it's hmm. just an adapter plate that you can attach to any one of your um, accessories. And then it just clicks into place. So for instance, this one is a really nice waterproof uh, saddlebag. And you, you'll, you'll just click that into hmm. a unique design on, on the rack. Now this rack is an HD, so that's heavy duty. So oh. this will be able to also take on EU approved child seats Perfect. Really nice for, for to taking the kids along with it. It's also got the sort of the, like the integrated headlight here. Beautiful. And it's got this, the spring loaded things. And, and it's got bungee loops and you can adjust the height. And I mean, th this is a really good rack. I, um, yeah, again, for me, I get, I'm doing the reviews, right? Yeah. So I see a nice part and it's like, cool, yeah. good choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, they kept on evolving. One of the things was that we, when you put on your saddlebags, mm -hmm. it was fine and everything, but what happens, where, what about all this space? So they yeah. came up with this unique, cool thing called the double decker, huh. which then attaches to the adapter plate. And now that then mirrors the pattern that's on this rack. And these racks are available on all our bikes. And then, of course, you can take another one. This we put on for the uh, crates, but you could put any accessory that you want. It's just you just attach the the, the um, adapter plate to it, and there it goes. It'll just slip into place. It's nice and sturdy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, walking in, it's like, I, will any of these work? Yes. We, we this, these are on our website. So basically, like for instance, this trunk bag, you can uh -huh. use any trunk bag that you like, it's just the adapter plate. This is a universal adapter plate that you can, you can purchase it from our website or you can go to Amazon or wherever you like. Cool. The adapter plate itself is quite universal. Hmm. Having it with all our bikes is what we feel is really unique to us. So you can add, you know, a dog carrier, yeah. of course the crate. This is a nice wicker basket. Some people like to take it off so it clicks off and you can carry it with you. Oh, that's styling. I could see that with your, and, and the other, I mean, the tires, they've got really good puncture resistant stuff. The new bike, it you've got your own in-house tire, right? Correct. The, the, so the Rhino. The Rhino, yeah. You have an accent. Where are you from again? It's just Originally South Africa. South Africa, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I try to talk like an American. But. <laughs> you do a good job, <laughs> and, but the, the wicker basket paired with you know these front baskets are pretty unique and I'm sure a lot of people love those yeah the, the one thing that's unique about we feel about our company too is that we try and make the bike still look classy still utilitarian uh -huh. but one of the things is the is the headset we've actually modified the headset to be part uh, to, to the bracket to be part of the headset and we attach the basket to the headset and that then doesn't compromise your steering obviously when your bike is the kickstands down the, the the contents don't fall out of the basket yeah but it's still classy looking and it still it still looks like a nice beach cruiser it took us a bit of time to get it right but we feel we hit the nail on the head now. you've done a great job again nailed the hit the nail on the head with the mounting because a lot of times i'll cover a bike and you put the kickstand down and then the the, the basket it's connected to the fork it would like dump the stuff out and then the lights i don't want to forget that i mean you've got two lights up here i'm yeah. going to put my finger over the sensor oh is this now not a light sensor? The sensor whoa on, so this is this is our upgraded technology package where the sensor to and then we'll keep course, it all over that i want to show these backlights yeah. here too there's that wraparound one that we were talking about earlier this is a great demo because with the panniers that rear light even though it wraps around on the rack a little bit it kind of gets blocked and so adding these i mean i i've seen just a couple other bikes in the industry do this and most of them cost a lot more and they maybe they weren't quite as utilitarian the accessories on your your bikes are really you know I'm, i like to surf it looks like a surf rack on that one yes. right there and we just talked about all the baskets and stuff. Is there anything else that, oh, I think the, the, the handlebars, you're starting to do it where people can get custom handlebars and yes, stuff, right? Yes, the, the customizing, that's the beauty of building our own bike show is we wait till the order comes in and mm -hmm. how the customer would like to have their bike configured. Yeah. And we've, we've had some people really like the, the, the swept back handlebar, yeah. the upright seating position. Other people want a more attacking seating position. Mm -hmm. Other people like the BMX style, the handlebars. Yeah. So on our website, you'll, you'll start noticing that you can have the choice of any kind of handle four choices of handlebars 
Some people also want to say, you know, the thumb throttle, I prefer if I had it, because I used to ride motorbikes, I want a twist throttle. Oh yeah. We offer that as an option. We've upgraded our, our optional um, grips. So our grips, we feel, are one of the best in the industry. You know, it's a leather, handset leather grips. Yeah. Really nice and comfortable. It's kind of like your, your wallet or your handbag. Over time, it gets nice and kind of fits the, 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 the style of your riding and your hand. Yeah. But other people would prefer to have more of a rubbery, sort of cushiony grip. Mm -hmm. So while you're designing your bike, you get to have those options too. It's pretty fantastic, man. But all of this customization, uh, it probably takes a little bit of time. What, what's the lead time? I mean, the, the shopping experience that I'm most familiar with is like they have a website, you do the customizer, and then it gets shipped to you. And I think there is a shipping charge for that. It kind of depends on where you're at. A couple hundred bucks, few hundred bucks. And then, but you have these stores and you also have these showrooms. So what's it like for a customer who comes to a showroom or a store? Yeah, so, so if they go online, of course they can they can build their bike and we ship it fully built. You know, it arrives to the customer fully built. They don't, particularly people that are not that technical, they really love that. Nice. All they do is they twist their handlebars, tighten that to how they like and they're ready to ride. When they go to the sh a store, to your point, then they can actually browse the store and they can see the bikes and they can get that feeling they can go take it out for a test yeah, ride. Test ride, yeah. And they don't have to pay for the shipping for the bike because the dealer then would take care of it. They, the customer gets to have a, have, a, have a relationship with the dealer. Yeah. That's what they like. And our, we feel our dealers are wonderful, good partners. If there. you get it through the dealer, does the extra charge for the shipping to the dealer or something? No, the or? dealer, you know the nice thing with the dealer, he, he, he absorbs that cost mm -hmm. and he would then, the, the sticker price on the floor would be the customer's price for that. You know, this is fun and we're in the showroom, but there's more here. Are we gonna take me backstage or what? Yes, so here, these are some of our, our, our top sellers, which you can look online, you can customize your own bike the way you want. But sometimes if you're buying a, you know, a gift for somebody and you're not really sure, you want to say, oh, what's the most popular? We've got the top sellers on our website. Cool. Which throughout the years, we've figured out who, what are the best sellers. And we, those are the ones we pre-make and here they are. So you can actually, without wait, no lead time, you call us, we'll package it up and we'll ship it to you in, huh. in fully built to your destination of choice. This is, this is a nice one. Um, Several years back, I reviewed a bike and uh, my aunt ended up buying one and she chose these colors a lot like this. She still lo loves it, rides yeah. it, and so right. that, it's kind of neat. Now, this is uh, only for you, Court. <laughs> you, you are, you know, the, the, big, the big reviewer of, of, of e-bikes. Oh, wow. And here's Jack, he's our chief R&D director. Uh, hey, Jack. Yeah, and what we do, of course we try and evolve with the business and we are, now we've got the upgraded technology package where it, where it comes with the lights and the brake lights and all the other things but then we also look at you know, evolving and developing our frame our yeah. frame styles and also the sort of trends in the marketplace yeah so okay start, yeah and, and we, we primarily a we the number one we feel best beach cruiser electric cruiser in the country yeah and, but we find that there's a, there's more youngsters you know, we only sell 16 year old and up, mm -hmm. but the 16, 17, 18 sort of teenagers, you know, college kids are looking for more sort of like a utilitarian type of bike yeah. where they can go over curves. And, and the, is this a suspension fork too? Yeah. Love that. Got the nice, so this, this isn't out yet, but it's something, are we going to see this eventually or is this just a tease? Well, again, you know, it's a tease and, we, <laughs> and this is one of a few frame styles that we're looking at. Yeah. Of course, what we'd like to do is, you know, the, the, we, our choice is 24 inch to 26 inch. We yeah. see that some of the industries, some people actually like the 20 inch wheel. Yeah. That's, that's where we want to get to a smaller wheel with a thicker tire, hmm. then the frame style all kind of depends on on how Jack and his team develop that. This has got a lot of uh, good comments, and we do a you know it takes us six months to a year to actually roll out a new model. So there'll be a lot more work on this. Yeah, we'll get a lot of input. Uh, we as I say, we've got a couple more frames similar to this, and when that arrives, and we we, we Jack and his team is happy with that, we will then choose the colors. And the beauty is that. 
even color choices and color trends are changing. The beauty of us having our own paint facility is that we can then move with those yeah, trends that's quite true. quickly and we don't get stuck with a whole bunch of inventory and old, you know, old colors. And I think what Jack has got going on over here, I kind of get goose flesh about it mm -hmm. because I think magic, he's, he's, he's almost, I think, captured the magic. Uh, we've got great responses so far. And, and we'll keep evolving it. That's the nice thing. He uses all his knowledge, his whole team. He's got a whole team working with him. And uh, yeah, we just stay ahead of, ahead of the trends. He's got a special job, man. I yeah, mean, no, it's no, almost sure. like unlimited parts here and creativity. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the, the creative freedom is the favorite part of the job. You're doing a great job. Well, let, shall we continue? Yes, Thanks for giving me. Yeah, I hope this is okay. We can keep it in the video. If you see this, you like the bike, you have any tips, leave a comment. And, this is where we do all our packing. And wow. As you can see, we do, this is for the bottom wheel. And yeah. all these are custom made for our bikes. We've got the side. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Is this a packed up bike? Correct. These are, this is actually two bikes. So the oh, wow. first bike would go in that side, the second bike would go in there, we'll just twist the handlebars. So the bike arrives nice and sturdy on a pallet. Oh, wow. And it's got the nice strong ribs on the side with the strapping. Mm -hmm. So all you do when you get the bike, when you get the shipment, you just cut this all off, slide the bike out, twist the handlebars, and go right. And you've got that great toolkit. It just comes with everything you need. We probably about one in a thousand returns. Wow. So very few returns ever. This is intense. You're moving a bunch of bikes out today, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here's, a, here's one where we do our woodworking. Wow. And this is where we make our beautiful uh, chain guards wow. and fenders for our different models. And we make them from scratch here. We take our ripped wood. Oh here. my gosh. Yeah, and we, we take each one of the, each one of the pieces. Uh -huh. We layer those <laughs> and then we put it on a mold over here. We put this on a mold. Oh, that's so, what that is. Yeah, so this, this, this um, completely matches the circumference of our wheel. Mm -hmm. Then it goes into the CNC machine. So once it's been properly shaped wow. by the CNC machine, once it's been CNC'd, it'll just be sort of nicely curved yeah. and trimmed out. Then we send it over to our paint facility <laughs> and they stain it nice. and then they waterproof it. Huh. And then the finished product is something that fits perfectly on our bike wow. with the hardware. And it's, it goes well with our Beach Cruiser sort of look and everything rust resistant when and I all weathered. I, when I came in, I, it smelled so good in here and I just thought, oh, it's the wood out in the, the kind of the lobby area. But this is, I feel like I'm going back in time here to the like, really made in America. Yes, yeah, sir. It's amazing. And I'll show you through here. Okay. So. We do some of our outdoor outdoor area here where, where the shipper comes and picks up the bike. Nice. This is through to our, where we feel one of our claims to fame is we build all our wheels in-house. Mm -hmm. And what that allows us is we can spec the rims to ensure that they're double walled, that there's no little pieces left inside, they're nice and clean. Yeah. So those, if, and, and if that's, if somebody else is doing your wheels for you, sometimes they can forget that. So yeah. they, they don't look at the little pieces that are gonna give you a puncture. Huh? Of course, the front wheel needs to be, you know, the back wheel needs to track the front wheel. It needs to be dished correctly. It needs to be tensioned correctly. It needs to be true to 100%. So us getting the perfect rim yeah. inspected before we even build it and the, and the hub, and the spokes, and we, 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 uh... Can we get closer here? Yeah, I'm kind of... Is this actually happening? We yeah. spoke in a wheel? Right here. This is our A-team right over here. Wow. And you'll see how that really works. So the spoking and the lacing of the wheel, and you can see what we do is we, is we soak all our brass, these are brass nipples that are soaked in a mineral oil to make sure that those things actually screw on perfectly onto the uh, onto the spoke yeah then that is that's a whole business in itself huh it comes onto onto the railing and they slide down here to our our string machine on either side oh wow yeah it's so, you've got two tracks set up here yeah. this is amazing and it's really good it's a really important part of the business it's, it's sort of underrated, I feel, the actual building of the wheel. Mm. How important that is 
you got 36 folks, 36 nipples. You've got the you've got the drive side, the non-drive side, the front, the back. Yeah. And this this machine over here, of course, it gets programmed to the different types of wheels. Wow. And there's a laser inside this machine here that actually can true and and set the the the, the, the tolerances closer than the eye can see. <laughs> so this is a really important part of our business. Is that what it's doing now? Is like spinning it and adjusting that it's kind of tightening the spokes and... Exactly. Making sure that each spoke has got the right tension, that it's stitched, stitched in the right way, then it's completely true. How did you get this, Sean? I mean, I've never seen one of these before. I've, I've seen it done manually at bike shops. We started manually, <laughs> but of course, and that does help. Sometimes, you know, you get a repair in and you don't have to start the machine up. So you can actually do that by hand. Ah. But overall, a, a typical lacing of a wheel can take about 20 to 25 minutes if you've got a pro. Yeah. This will do it in under four minutes. Wow. So this really helps this, this machine. And I love that you have silver and you have black and even the motors. I was looking down here. It's like he's, he's lining them up and then maybe passing them to the next station where they connect them. Yes, so we have the silver um, uh, motors. <laughs> And we have the black motor, of course, and the silver hub, front hub and the back hub. Yeah. And then, then the different types of spokes. And we also then color customize the rims. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, so Sorry. that one's now finished. <laughs> so you're, and you can color customize. Do you do that before you spoke them or after? Yes, yeah. So if somebody wants to have their, their wheel, and we do that for corporate branding, mm. particularly corporate, you know, they, they're very picky on the color that they want. So they want the, the, the bike a certain color, but then they also want the rim, that particular corporate brand is kind of like a Home Depot orange or something well, it's sure. not just any old orange so oh. then we'll paint that at our paint factory yeah and then bring that in and then we'll lace those by hand and then run it through the lacing machine if it's just a one off or two off it's pretty unique that I mean not only can you match the colors and stuff but you can set these bikes up for companies to do the fleet thing and then you you have that terms of use now so anyone who rides the bike is is sort of agreeing to those safety standards can you tell me a, a little bit more about that real quick yeah so what we find is once somebody buys a bike, sometimes uh -huh. it's for your own personal use, which is fine. Yeah. But once you have an Airbnb or you have a you know a resort or a hotel or, or just even just in your company, you've got different people riding the bike at different times. You really want to make sure that the waivers are in place. And also your insurance companies, especially on e-bikes, are more requiring that more and more. Where's the liability here? So what we have on our display now, if, when you order the upgraded technology package, is you'll get the display where you have to actually accept the terms and conditions of basic service or of the bike. Sure. So that then, that then reduces your exposure to, to lawsuits in the future if something had to go wrong. And I love that you have some settings in there. You know, I was just covering the, the new affordable model, the Model A, and I was, just, I was accepting the terms and Sean said, well, we can shut that off if you're an end user. We can also set the bike to perform as class one, class two, or class three. So there are a lot of really cool options in there and it, those are kind of locked behind your, your password or something if you're the fleet owner, the fleet Correct. manager. And, and what, what sort of the government officials are saying to us, NHTSA and DOT and the, you know, the rest of the regulators on e-bikes, yeah. are saying it, it shouldn't be easy to change that. It's not to say, oh, well, you know what, we're gonna set that any sort of, you know, 16 year old can go to the back and press a couple of buttons and change the settings. Yeah. Then there has to actually be a harder way of doing that. So now what we've done is we've put in a code that only we have at, at our disposal. And then you call in and you say, listen, I want to, I want to change the code. I want to go off riding, off roading, or I want to use it in some other country where this, where this, the, the, the um, system is different. Yeah. Then we send them that code, but then of course we get all the paperwork written down. So there's a long, there's a process to it. It's not just a willy-nilly little change of setting. They're very detail-oriented, and this whole process is unique. But it it also speaks to the replacement parts and the really good warranty. You guys have like the five-year comprehensive warranty, including the battery, and then the the motor and the frame. You were saying it's ten years. If you're a fleet owner. You know, they might get a lot of a lot of use and there are little things that can break you need replacements on just looking around and, and this tour you've been taking me on has really um I mean, that's really impressive. We've got, we've got a 3D printer where we do some of our R&D. Oh, and cool. you know, we have 720 different parts and we have it all obviously between our different facilities. Wow, so this is where all the wheels get hung after they're all spoked. It's just amazing, all the frames and stuff here, Sean. 
Yes, it is. And, and here we have our expert builders. Every builder goes through a training program and then they become a certified builder. So the order would come in, they would take the frame. Mm -hmm. And here's, here's the building station. We have specific tools. Every one of our stands has, has the tools for that particular build. For instance, on this one here, we, we, we find this is very important details. This is a torque wrench, yeah. and we can set the torque settings. People might think that that's not really important, but if you over tighten or under tighten a bolt, that is actually a problem. So we make sure that we have all our settings and that each bike is put together with the correct tools for starters. Nice. Then some of the hardware, and you'll notice on this part here, our hardware is something that we really are passionate about. I mean, it's just not only the piece of hardware, uh, the material that it's made out of, the fastening, the fastening um, pattern here, also that it has Loctite on, it's mm -hmm. the right length. Each one of these pieces of hardware is our, we feel our claim to fame because it's in the details that really when you put the bike together it doesn't you know it doesn't rattle when you ride it and it doesn't corrode over time i've covered you know thousands of bikes at this point and a lot of times i'll get one i, I bought a couple just like online on amazon or something it's super cheap one just to check it out and yeah stuff isn't quite set up as well and you realize some of the hardware isn't working and then it starts to rust we're you're by the coast here uh, Newport Beach area and I, I remember you pointing out your chain for the the model a was a little bit more rust resistant And you're thinking about that kind of stuff here. Yeah, correct and I mean small little details like the the headset Making sure that the bearings are sealed. Oh, yeah, and in, you know Those are things that you know that in your headset you don't get that kind of ah, over I time. totally had that yeah, exactly yeah. <laughs> So it's all it's all these this is where this little um, each each builder has their own station where they can pull the correct yeah, you have and parts. We're moving so fast. I mean, it's really I'm always impressed with the safety thing so reflective a little mud flap at the end of your fenders even with the logo it's it's pretty pretty neat man you've really scrutinized the details you know, each, each one of the parts are inspected before they go on the bike and, and you know just a small detail the back light that oh one, yeah you know this would be three you know it's got the three led lights on yeah. the length of the wire each part is is, is spec by us for our builders when you have two of them i was like trying to find one of the there's like each one of the seat stays you have an, a three LED unit plus the tail light, you know, it's it's yeah. kind of overkill, but for safety, that's a good thing. Yeah, and you know, here of course we can customize anything. You can have just the regular, um, yes, yeah, standard fork, rigid fork. Uh -huh. But what we also do is we offer a suspension fork, mm. but we can also customize that. So, <laughs> you know, you can you can choose any color that you like. If you wanted this this the rigid fork, you could get it. But yeah, the suspension fork too. I think I see the the matching fork. It kind of <laughs> yeah. the colors are all coming together over here with these wow i just want to get a look at these beautiful colors up here and all these frames that are hanging so what's going on at this station you know so here elliot runs it with his team and we'll get a we'll get a, just the frame uh -huh. and this is where his team actually then would look at the order and then put all the basically the guts the the internals of the bike yeah and then you know that obviously includes all the wiring but then obviously the, the brake lines the anti-theft alarm system. Oh yeah, that's a big thing you do. That, and it's built like into the frame, so it's pretty tough. Correct, it's tough to get to, and it's also part of the controller, so the controller will be hidden up inside there. Huh. And, and we'll inspect the wiring to make sure, obviously the wiring is water resistant. Mm -hmm. uh, here's an example where we would put the controller inside there. This is where the battery um, bracket that gets connected to, to for the other side. Here's obviously a little switch in our lock. All this gets in in installed here with, with uh, Elliot and his team. It's neat to see the sort of integrated battery design. You know, very beautiful. But I, I keep coming back to the Model A we were looking at. It has the just kind of the traditional plastic battery on top of it. But I love that you were thoughtful that that's cross compatible with some of your other models. And that keeps it affordable too. And you have multiple battery sizes for a lot of your, like right, that we were looking at, it was like 12, 
amp hours, 48 volts, and, and you can also get a 14 or maybe even a 21 yes. amp hour. Yeah, so we step it up. Of course, we use, we use the high quality battery cells. Yeah. We've got the battery management systems that's compatible with all our different batteries. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have the charger. We, we don't go 36 volts, we don't go 72 volts. All of them are 48 volts. So mm. we use the same charger for all our models. That's nice. And yeah. we can actually then bring the price down because of that. Also, our charging port, a three prong charging port, very important for us. So, and that's sort of standard on all our bikes too so we can get the economies of scale by having the best technology and we just roll it out to all our different models that's awesome I mean I'm a I'm really appreciate it too because you can get the details right on that charger I've seen it, it has an aluminum casing at the fan and it's got I think a, a couple fuses too for your charger Correct, yeah. so that if there's an issue and your battery has a couple fuses Correct. and so there it feels a little bit more modular and um, repairable comes to mind for all of your products. Great. Yeah, it's fixable. You know, fuse blows, you pop a new one in. It's not just trash. Yeah. <laughs> and great. you know, you don't necessarily need to have anybody of, of uh, you know, electrical engineer doing that. What we do is if you have ever have a problem, we will send you a brand new battery as a replacement. You take your battery that you have an issue with, put it in the return box mm -hmm. which ships back to our engineering department which is here That's which right. puts the whole casing together that will then up the uh, you know and disassemble it with all the hardware the tools the experts the electrical engineers and then they'll diagnose the problem and if it's fixable and it's a small issue they'll just they'll fix it so we can actually offer then a long-term uh, warranty for our batteries that's huge service and I think your base warranty you said is five years for the battery that's correct really good yeah. that's higher than most yeah. <laughs> and then being able to recycle them too is that's right very important what's the rate on that you know in terms of um you know broken batteries and then the, the fixability how fixable are they usually you know it's a very fixable i don't think people actually realize how sort of how simple it is if it's done right hmm. you know once the battery case there's two things that we say it's a battery pack and then the battery case and then everything else so the battery case itself is actually pretty simple it's just the cells nickel plating battery management system and a little bit of wiring within that yeah. we don't do that we get an expert to get it to send us the battery case mm -hmm. uh, the battery pack then what we do is we take the case then it's all these guys. They can take the case, put the hardware, put the switches in, put the lights in, and together, that's really where the maintenance comes in. Huh. So we can open that, we can check everything. The actual pack itself, we don't really touch. If, that, if there's something wrong with that, we'll go send that to recycling and we'll bring in a brand new one. Nice. And then we can assemble that. So we can bring down our repair and maintenance costs and pass it on as a saving really to our customers. Yeah, it's great that you, and you recycle the ones that don't work too, man, Correct. good job. So we walked upstairs and they're actually assembling batteries up here. Well, we also, we have the tools here and we have the experts here. Yeah, these are the guys, yeah. right? Rock on. <laughs> good job, guys. What are your names? What's your name? Ignacio. Ignacio. Geronimo from Engineer. Wow, these, you guys are awesome. Just on one of the switches, that's, that's one of the connectors that are inside the battery, you'll, you'll have you know the the, wow. the the quality of the connection the gauge of the wire the what the what the polarity of each of these parts are mm -hmm. so there's there's many parts in a battery but when a battery does come back for service it's important that you have the people the tools the knowledge the drawings yeah to be able to service that quite quickly within a few minutes. And hence the five-year warranty. So you're saying it's basically a five-year comprehensive warranty, including the battery, and then 10 years for the motor and the frame. Correct. That's really, that's awesome. So this is the basket room. Are you a basket case, Sean? What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Depends who you ask. This is something that really differentiates you guys. Uh, and, and it's not just a basket, but it's also like a battery option. And so you have bikes where it almost doesn't look like an electric bike because the motor, you know, it's silver. It kind of blends in with the spokes or black. And then you have the you have the basket, and that's where the battery is. And you've got this really sturdy bracket. There's the little on-off switch and the power plug. Um, it's, has that been pretty popular? Who who likes that? Very popular. You know, the the, the women really want to have a basket. Yeah. And they don't want it to look like an electric bike. <laughs> so the the battery gets then hidden on the bottom of the baskets. Yeah. So they get their baskets, they get their electric bike, but it doesn't look like one. Okay. No, no, no. This is reserved for the baguette and the flowers, yeah, right? You know? Yeah. And your towel and your, and your sunglasses. Oh, right. And your the beach and, towel. Yeah. How could I forget? Yeah, that's great, man. And they, these are rated even with the battery. How much can they carry? How much? Yeah, so extra on this one, it's it's because of the, the, the brackets. We've beefed up the bracket. Uh -huh. So this 
once the bracket's on top, once a bracket has been attached, it's also 50 pounds. Wow, 50 yeah. pounds. That's pretty solid. Yeah. That's a lot of rear racks there, which is way to do The nice thing is it's attached directly to the frame. Mm -hmm. And the frame has been modified to have that headset bracket on there. Yeah. So then it doesn't compromise your steering. Exactly. And when your kickstand is out, it doesn't fall down even all the contents fall out. So why don't we go off to paint? And I'd love to show you I'm our paint I'm excited to see that. That's one of their highlights here. So. Excellent. So here, this is the paint shop, huh? Yes, welcome. <laughs> Very excited to show you the paint um, factory. Let me show you through here how it actually works. Okay. One of our claims to fame, of course, is we wait until the order comes from the customer and then we, then we start. Yeah. So we start with a raw frame. And here's the raw frame. It's got a small um, primer finish on it. You can touch it, it's okay? Yes, you can touch it. I don't want to mess anything up for these guys. <laughs> no, so, so it's exactly, it, it, you, it's no problem because it, from a raw frame, it'll come over here to our, our prep team. Wow. And this is sort of an unsung, these are unsung heroes in our business because behind the scenes, what they're doing here is critical. Hmm. They're taking each part that gets custom, custom painted and they, they're sanding it down, making sure that any blemishes or anything is taken off the product before it goes into into the paint booth. Beautiful. And that's each part, the frame, the fork, the fender, the chain guard, the back rack, every part of the bike. It's a lot of work. I mean, you guys, you, you do that for all your parts? Every part. Wow. So Good job. We, we, we put them in separate areas, and when the order comes through, the uh, our paint team would then take the parts, Yes, helmets, for instance. Jeez, yeah, I know. It's like here's all the stuff. Here's the the chain covers, the battery cases, yeah, the fenders, even the plastic fenders. Yes, correct. We paint the plastic fenders. Yeah. Wow. So, so for instance, yeah, this is the beauty again of building our own our own products. Is we don't before the battery case is actually assembled, we can paint that. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to take an existing battery case disassemble it, paint it, yeah. reassemble it, rehook it up. We do it way, we do it before we even build. So we'll prep the battery case, we'll make sure that it's nicely sanded down and cleaned, huh. primed. Yeah. So this oh. is where all the magic really happens as well. I it's, can smell the magic in the air. That's <laughs> true. It's uh, you know we, we normally have our fans blowing and we got we got a whole bunch of um, ext extraction fans and obviously to paint to paint here, you have to get all the, the clean air permits and everything else going on. So here where the team would then take the, the, the wall frame and then prime it. Once it's primed, it'll go into our booth, get a nice, get a nice coating of prime on it, mm -hmm. and then it dries. Then after it's dried, then it gets painted any color the customer would like. So here are some of our custom color paints. You, if you want it faded from, from color, wow. different colors. This is like a one of a kind. So this is done by hand. Yeah, this is all done by our, by our painters here. Oh my gosh, good job guys. Yeah. This is amazing. And yeah, you can see how beautiful every part looks. All the fenders and the chain guards and the, you know, it, 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 people get really creative. It's kind of fun. I would probably not choose these colors, but this is a, you know, a, a unique type of color combination. If that's your style, we can do it. I like that. And that goes with all our baskets, our back racks, our suspension forks. Jeez. And any type of frame style you like. I, I like the colors, man. And is it just this raw frames yeah, and stuff raw frames like that? That off there. I see helmets through here too, kind of poking through. Yes. So the helmets is also really nice. We will just get the raw shell and then we prep that, prime it, and then also choose, get the customer, the customer can choose any color that they like. And then we paint that and assemble it and send it with a bike. I feel like I'm in Detroit hanging out with like Henry Ford or something here. You got this amazing and really yeah. high quality uh, in here, this is process. Also, it's, a, it's, a, it's a technical process because of course, you know, you want to get it dust free. You want to make sure that you're mixing the right paints together. Yeah. You've got hardeners and you've got reducers. Oh my this gosh. is Ellen, the maestro. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes, you're in charge of this kingdom in here. This is my color uh, kingdom. My save zone right here. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you got like the bunny suit uh, and everything. Yeah, I got the whole outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play the part. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Are you the one that helps to you, blending the colors and actually painting them and stuff? Yeah. Any uh, any of the you know painting or blending or you know single colors, special colors mm -hmm. that uh, happens here. And, 
I take care of it. He mentioned hardeners and stuff, and I suppose in some cases you're doing decals for companies and stuff. Do you put like a clear coat over that so that it's you're not peeling off a sticker or something? Correct. Well, it's, if it's if it's quite a simple process, Alan, very talented in his team, they can airbrush it on and or paint it on. Oh, cool. If it's a technical decal, we'll get it printed. And then, of course, we'll, we'll paint the, uh, the frame and the fork and everything, the corporate colors. And then we'll take the logo and then stick that logo on. Normally, it's a die-cut logo. Yeah. And then Alan and his team will then take a clear coat and a couple clear coats to make sure that it's nicely sealed so it doesn't corrode, peel, or fade. Wow. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the, the process here? Um, I, don't know, I, I like the, the variety, right? Every day is different. You, you don't... Mm. do the same thing you know day after day yeah today i'll paint you know paint blue tomorrow maybe i'll do a logo the day after you know we'll blend yeah helmets i mean it's just <laughs> it, it changes every day and there's creativity involved too this the artist it's neat to to speak with someone like that i, I bet you have some sort of custom bike yourself or a car you painted yeah, i mean i uh tinker with things here and there sure sure yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you good job nice yeah. to meet you Wow, this is, I just, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> wow, oh, are you guys getting ready to actually do a paint job? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, that's what they do is that will come in. If it's, if it's a lighter color, it mm -hmm. gets a lighter primer. So it'll get a white primer. If it's obviously a dark, it gets gray. And if it's a really dark color, like a black, or, or a dark uh, maroon, yeah. uh, then it gets a black, a really deeper color primer. Yes. So this will be, this one over here has got the white mm -hmm. uh, priming, so they'll have a, we'll have a orders for some lighter colors, which they're busy prepping for. There's a level of care there. I mean, I wouldn't have, you know, you get a chip on something, you see the undercoat, and the fact that you have three different colors Two instead of like promise. a like every undercoat is white you know no, that, no. that's it's just so much detail sean no. it, it, it shows the brilliance of the colors depending on how the uh oh, how the the electric check out electric bike report they're probably <laughs> going to have a review on that bike soon <laughs> they do a good job there's a you know it's a wonderful space everyone's so positive and it, it's yeah, fun they, to get on on a bike and Exactly. The more the merrier. Though we've got lots of competitors, and we always kind of compete us, compare ourselves against our competitors. Yeah. Quite frankly, the more people on electric bikes, the better. Yeah. This is our helmet display, which will be going out to all our dealers with all our different helmet colors. Hmm. And I'll give you, I'll show you inside our little helmets uh, room here. Well, it's really nice to try a helmet on in addition to all the colors. So, giving that to the dealers, it's another really. Just like the little kiosk that we looked at back at the, the headquarters there. Yeah, that's right. For, for, for people to walk in and see the brilliance of the colors and to see the bike and to see that they can color customize that, which is great. Mm -hmm. But then you need a lock and then you might need a cup holder and then you need the helmet. So yes, the, the helmet itself we chose, we feel the best helmet that's out there. It's got the front and back lights that you know, it's got oh. different kinds of functions on it. And, oh, know, so you can uh, just do the back. Yeah, yeah and it has totally. that USB-C charging port. Um, and uh, the, the fact that your bikes also have a USB port means you can charge your helmet right off your bike. Yeah, it's really helpful. That's great. And this is just another uh, uh, added advantage of working with us at the Electric Bike Company is because it's a personalized, customized, sort of accessorized product. Yeah. Having one of the, having a key part, the helmet, we also now offer that to our, to our dealers. That's fantastic, yeah. Sean. Well, I feel like we've seen so much and all of this has been kind of just spur of the moment, walking in, making some friends with all the different employees. You said you have well, like 150 people? 120, now? yeah, 120 currently. Wow. And obviously as we get busy, our busiest times, of course, are kind of coming up now with Valentine's. Yeah. A really beautiful product. Really? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That's a great gift, actually. Great yeah, gift. Biking with, with my girlfriend, you know, yeah. it's been a fun thing. So I just wanted to say thank you. This was just sort of a long run video adventure. Uh, you're very special, unique, what your company does. It's been fun just to check out the new products too. You know, electricbikereview.com. I covered most of the models. Some of my reviews are a little bit out of date, but it's a chance to check out 
a little bit more in depth on a particular bike and you do work with a number of companies. You have a great website with a customization tool and I wish you well. I mean, this is just, it's fun and, and I hope it helps other people too. And maybe dealers, if you're a dealer and you're like thinking about brands to carry, it's, it's nice to see the level of care that they bring here. Every company has something special to offer and you, you, you're just like the whole spectrum here right well, now. And I agree, it's a team <laughs> effort, you know, it's a really big and team And you're honoring effort. your team, good job, yeah. man. Yeah, very nice to see that, Sean. But thank, thank you so much and until next time, hope uh, things go well. Yeah, you too, boy. Thanks for coming. Yeah.